North Korea claims to have tested a new nuclear-capable underwater attack drone. The state media said that the drone is capable of generating a radioactive tsunami. Pyongyang blamed the joint military drills by Seoul and Washington for raising tensions in the region. The test was overseen by North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un. The new drone cruised at a depth of 80 to 100 meters underwater during the test. This is according to state-run media. It's called High Eel, which means tsunami. It traveled for over 59 hours before detonating inside the water. According to reports, the drone can be deployed at any coast and port. The new drone was developed to make sneak attacks in enemy waters. It can destroy naval striker groups and major operational ports by making a radioactive wave triggered by an underwater explosion. A day before the drone testing, North Korea fired cruise missiles. The cruise missiles firing was a way to practice carrying out tactical nuclear attack missions. Pyongyang has increased its military tests in recent weeks. It fired an intercontinental ballistic missile last week as well. North Korea's launches come amid U.S. and South Korea carrying out military drills themselves. On Thursday, the two allies completed their largest joint military drills in five years.